Hi, this is Connie. Today I have for you a Sumi ink review. Thank you to Jennifer at Paper and Ink Arts for sending me these inks to try. Before I did this review, I asked on Instagram what aspects you would like to see reviewed, and one repeatedly mentioned was the scent. It seems that quite a few of you do not like how Sumi smells. I personally love the scent, but I can definitely see why some wouldn't. So Sumi is made from the soot of pine branches. Artisans burn natural oils with pine branches and knead with nikawa, which is the binding agent made from animal bones. Fragrance is then blended in, but when too much fragrance is blended in, it can dilute the essential content and may affect the ink quality. A lot of factors determine the quality of the Sumi. But in general, good sumi uses the finer and more even soot from the top with light nagawa and adequate pounding. It is fine, has body, and slight shimmer. In Chinese, we have a saying, fa mo ru yo yi dian ru qi, to describe good sumi. It means that the ink has a quality like oil and one drop with the sheen like paint. So keep in mind that Sumi was made for the purpose of brush calligraphy and not pointed pen. It was not designed to achieve hairlines as fine as iron gulls. We have come to use it for pointed pen, which places it under a different set of standards. I have used the following inks for a while, and I hope my input will be beneficial for you. First, we have the best bottle Sumi. Out of all the Sumi we reviewed today, this has the least shine after drying, but it has a decent hairline. I want to note that these numerical comparisons are only within this group. So when I say hairline is 8 out of 10, it doesn't mean that it's an 8 compared to McCaffrey or Old World. It's just within this batch of Sumi. The Yatsutomo KF has a heavier hairline than Best Bottle, but it dries as one of the most even sumi in the batch. There is an even sheen, but no distinct shine. The Yatsutomo KY has the heaviest hairline so far. There is a shine after drying, but the shine is uneven. It is slightly gummy and can have the tendency to pull. The Chinese Sumi has a great body and a slightly thicker consistency. I could tell as soon as my nib touched the paper and I see the ink spreading that this and the ink coming up would be great for brushwork.
The Chinese Sumi Ultra Black, like its name, is a very apparently solid black and extremely dense. So when your hairline crosses through a shade, it is extremely easy to drag ink. On the box, it says that it works on less porous surfaces like metallic paper. So I gave it a shot on my metallic gold paper. But as you can see, it smudges and pulls, and it did not dry at all after several hours. In my opinion, the Cure Takesumi probably has the most pungent smell. The hairline is one of the finest ones in this batch, but in high humidity, I have found that this ink takes extremely long to dry. But when it does dry, it has a nice even sheen not visible in the other inks in this batch. The Vermilion Sumi has the best hairline in this group. It is comparable to the hairlines of Walnut Ink, and if it was okay to use orange writing all the time, I would use this ink all the time. The Moon Palace ink does not seem to be affected as much by humidity levels, so I do prefer using it diluted over the humid months as it dries fast. The hairlines are slightly thicker than Kuretake, but it does dry with a slight gloss. White Sumi does not really hold together at all for pointed pen. As you can see, it just pulls significantly. I added some gum arabic and tried to fix it. Here, it got a little better, but it still has a tendency to pull. The hairlines are nowhere as fine as the bleed proof white. And here is a comparison. So I would say that the white sumi is much more suitable for brush than for point of pen. So it really depends on what you're looking for. What is your biggest concern? If hairline is your biggest concern, I would recommend Best Bottle Sumi, Kuretake, Vermilion, and Moon Palace. If you care about drying time and humidity, I would not recommend the Cure Talking. If you want a Sumi that dries evenly with an even sheen, I would recommend Best Bottle, Cure Take, and Moon Palace. The one that dries the shiniest, it's a Yatsutomo KY.
but that may not be what you're looking for. I hope this review has been helpful to you. All the links to the Sumi mentioned in this video are in the descriptions. And let me know in the comments below what other calligraphy products you would like reviewed. And as always, thank you so much for watching.